Hey everyone, Shel Serbita here, and today I have a live swatch and review for you of the Prickly Pear Summer Collection that has released. These were sent to me in PR, however, my thoughts and opinions are my own. Without it being said though, I just want to say thank you so very much, Jelly, for sending them my way, and I truly appreciate it. And, and I will also link her channel down in the description box, but also where you can pick up these polishes in the description box and pin comment as well. And don't forget, you can also receive 12% off on your next purchase from Prickly Pear Polish using my code CHILLS12. Without being said though, let's get into today's video because these are some really super cute polishes. So first up, I'm gonna be showing Blinging Love. Now this is not part of the six piece summer collection, but more of a bonus. It came from the Valentine's collection. I still wanted to show it because of the upcoming Barbie film coming out. So this is a clear base polish filled with silver and black mini holographic hex glitters and silver holographic hearts. Now the holographic hearts, they are a little heavy, so they do come out organically, but it's still recommended to either fish or pour some out onto a paper plate or let's say a silicone mat. And then you could place them where you want. Here I'm using an orange stick and you can see that I'm kind of like poking and prodding where I want the hearts placed at. And then from there, I, because of the thinking of the Barbie film, I went ahead and used some pinks and purples and some reds. So I used Cupcake Phase, Frosty Blush, Will That Be a Cup or a Cone, Sugar Junkie, and Reggae to Riches. Now, I don't know about you, but I am obsessed with this over Reggae to Riches. I just think it looks so freaking amazing, but definitely giving me punky Barbie vibes, and I am totally here for it. So first up in the six piece collection is gonna be Snow Cone. Now this is a topper packed with snow white flakes and rainbow pearl tidy flakes. You could turn any manicure into your favorite summer treat with this topper or give your natural nail a gentle glow up. I decided that I wanted to try out both. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I was thinking of the five top flavors when it comes to snow cones. So the blue was supposed to represent blue raspberry. The green was supposed to represent like lemon lime. The orange is supposed to represent mango. The red is cherry and then and the kind of like somewhat hot pinkish color is watermelon, I guess. You can really see that kind of that glow now sparkle, especially on this tambourine color. And so the five colors that I chose were Tambourine, The Heat Is On, Glad You Melt Me, Frozen and Lime, and Freezer Burn. Most of these are actually from the new China Glaze collection that came out this summer. And so I thought that was really cute. I wanted to see what would happen with them. And I really do like this glow, especially you can see how vibrant it is out in the daylight. But of course, I wanted to see what it would look like over natural colors as well. So I did three coats by itself, Cupcake Phase, Sweeter Than Sugar, White on White, and Liquid Leather. And honestly, I really did enjoy the colors that I chose for that as well. You can see in the daylight, the same thing. The ones with Sweeter Than Sugar and Cupcake Phase, I really, really did enjoy. You can see like those true colors come out over the liquid leather, the black as well, so you can see what's in there. So definitely a really neat topper to have. Next we have S'mores, and this is inspired by the classic summer camping train. It is a white curly base with holographic copper glitters and matte black shreds. And for the best appearance, three coats is definitely recommended. I would suggest that. I will say this, that the pictures and these two, the second and third coat are most accurate when it comes to this nice bright white. I don't know about you, but this is definitely giving me not only summer vibes, but definitely Halloween vibes. And I am here for it. This was my favorite polish out of this collection. Next we have Lemonade Crunchy Ice, and this is a bright yellow crelly filled with snow sheet square glitters, and it can be fully opaque within three coats with careful application, and it sits a little bit more on the sheer side. I definitely have to say that yes, that is accurate. It did take me three coats to reach full opacity. On the second and third coat is what you're seeing is more color accurate, including the photos. And this definitely reminds me of a glass of lemonade with the square glitters reminding me of ice cubes. And honestly, it's perfect. It really is. It's a really great polish and it's very unique to my collection. Now we have Cherry Cola, and this is a warm burgundy base with an intense red shimmer, and it's reminiscent of the classic soda that it's named after. It's perfect application in two to three coats. I did do three coats on a clear nail tip just to see if it would deepen up the color. Now I do wanna state that in the, I have bright lights going on, so it looks like it's pretty red, but it actually is a darker color in person. However, this is definitely giving me fall vibes, and I'm totally here for it. The application was smooth as butter, and it's gorgeous. 
So now we have Last Light, and this is a dark blue jelly base with an intense green to gold magnetic pigment running throughout. If you unmagnetize it, it leaves us this glowy, murky appearance, or you can magnetize it to give the appearance of Last Light before night on your nails. Now, it did take me three coats to reach full opacity. Now, on the first two coats, I did not magnetize it. I left it as like it's painted, but on the third coat, that's when I went ahead and magnetized it, and it was gorgeous. It definitely has this glow within. Now I know that this was inspired by like the last night before night where I guess it's like before it goes dark but in my personal opinion it definitely gives me abyss vibes. Now here I did the magnetize on the index middle and ring and then non-magnetized on the pinky and I love it either way. I tried all the different ones and here you can see in the sunlight and the daylight it's absolutely gorgeous. I love that glow and it's just absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my favorites. It was between this or small yeah, either one. And the last polish for the six piece collection is gonna be Monsoon Skies. This is a gray base with a blue shimmer running throughout it. It's inspired by the monsoon season that Arizona has every summer and it's perfect coverage within two to three coats. I did try out three coats just to see if it deepened up the color, but there was no difference really between the second and third coat. So yeah, really it's more of a two coater, but the formulation is fantastic. There's no running, no pulling, nothing. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this blue shimmer, it's very strong. And that is the six piece collection. I hope you really enjoyed this review. These polishes are absolutely gorgeous and they definitely do give me summer vibes, but definitely in more of a unique way because when you think of summer, you're normally thinking of brights, but this is a little bit done on a different twist, which I really enjoy. With that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and let me know if you're planning on picking any of these up. And until then, take care and stay chilly.